morning. Fetch my little man Isaac here today because Becky's not feeling too well. Um, she's got a chest infection, which is pretty bad. So she's taking Esme to school and I think she's just going to rest for the rest of the day. Um, no rest for us here though. Um, we are going to be, we've got a lot of cattle to vaccinate and worm and what have you, all those that we fetched in from grass need doing. Uh, we've not got around to that yet. Uh, got to take the trailer back to Cowgills because they need to use it today. Um, and what else? Sorry. We're just feeding up, feeding around. We've got some exciting news from them a bit later. The Hilux Beast <laughs> fired up and we'll get this trailer took back. A fair bit of machinery sharing with Cowgills because, um, well, machinery is expensive and things like this cattle trailer we have the lorry um but there's some places that the lorry just won't get in let's make sure nobody's behind me um and they they have one because they don't have a lorry so we just share that and then they'll share like our muck spreader and different bits and bobs like that and then we'll try and work it out a bit at the end of the uh, end of the day but uh yeah farmers helping farmers just i don't know i suppose we're good mates it works out but uh, anyway, if people like these types of videos, remember to press the like button and subscribe. I keep forgetting to put that in the start of the video because um, that's what they reckon you should do, put it in the start. Um, but yeah, it really helps us grow our channel if we get more subscribers. We've got loads and loads of views. We just need more subscribers. Those who remember the Highland, he's behind the fence again now, look. Literally just must love it there. The reason I had to go past the Highlands is because I forgot the key to unlock the trailer. So I'm back now. Oh, and I can't reverse either. Mile, absolutely miles off. Quite good, these things. So you just pop that into there, which locks the locking, locking mechanism. And um, it's locked then. Nobody can come and pick it up. Even if they like melted this way, the mechanism's still locked. So it won't go onto that ball. Ingenious. We've got somewhere near, so we need to let this down. We also need to, oh no, it's already pulled up. That's pretty good. So you can do it one-handed, I think. Although the stand's not on. That's it, we're on. She's gone green and we'll just lock it on. So then I definitely know that it's on. Put the lights in, put the safety chain across and jobs are good. And he's on the 130. He's just doing the straw in this morning. And I think M is somewhere, but I've not seen him yet. Just going round on the TM. All right, well, we'll get set off with this. Get it took back to him. Now for our fleet of tractors, eh? That 6130 is a uh, sister to the one that we've got. Or brother, whatever you want to gender it. Get for tractor friends. Picking a few bits up from screw fix now. Back in the yard now, M is on the nine meter. Looks like she's gonna put some hay out to the cows. Cattle, cattle. Good morning, Andy. Good morning. Although it feels like nearly afternoon for me. I feel like I've been out at yard all morning. You doing just servicing it? Yeah. Good. Fix is parked up. As is the nine meter. Not sure where M is. So we're just looking through the cattle now, making sure everything's all right. See if there's any that can go. M's here. I've just jumped on the nine meter. Um, we're gonna put some sheets on the roof today, me and Andy and M. Uh, we just got to do a bit of cutting down because they are second hand sheets that we're using. So we need to cut them down and um, then put them up on a band that's had the roof just as in it, probably six or seven years or that. We, we never got around to putting the, uh, the actual sheets on because we ran out of sheets. It was a bit low in there and we were like, oh, I'll just leave it. And anyway, we just got a bit of spare time for, right, we'll get it sorted now. Then it's done. Just gives the cow a little bit more shelter if they want it. Yeah, these are the sheets. They've got a few holes in them. And I think, is that end a bit tatty, Em? Yeah, so we cut that end off and um, make some right again. Here's some that Andy and my dad did earlier. 
I've just managed to cut myself, I think. Nice. Brilliant. Oh, that's what it was like. That's it looking a bit more like it. Just a bit more to do. Sings anyway, Em. Um. We got a surprise a bit later, haven't we? Your surprise later. Andy, she's looking at me gone out. She's got a surprise to tell everybody, hasn't she? Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Should we do that a bit later? Do you know what the surprise is now? No, it might not be a bit... It'd be quite momentous to me. Well, yeah, but I didn't know what I was talking about. <laughs> Get ready. Oh no, it's raining. Operation putting the roof on is uh, probably stopped now. Uh, yeah, it's a bit wet for doing that job. A bit breezy. <coughs> we'll have to fill it in another day. Anyway, we got Andy and Em now. Just starting to mix in the background there. And um, yeah, we'll see what other jobs we can do. We've got plenty of cattle to vaccinate, if nothing else. Yeah, I've put my coat on. Andy is just getting on with the mix. Em's running. Where's Em running to? Em, what are you doing? You getting your coat? Where from? Duh! Check this out. Oh, that's absolutely exceptional. I love it already. You seen all this? Oh, yeah. Is that from far? No, no. It's uh, packed it. We'll pack it. It's Look at this little beast that M's got now. Why have you got this? Has uh, your dad fetched it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's driving it here for you. Did it? Yeah? Yeah, yeah. My dad just drove it and then left me with it all there. Go on. It's my new caravan. So, no. Go on, M. Pass your test. When did you pass it? Yesterday. I was what I was kept out of the loop on this just in case I told you guys before it happened. First time? Mm. How many miners? Five, I think. Five miners. I think I got the maximum that you allowed. Did you? <laughs> well, it well, don't matter, you pass. Well, I don't eat this, but it's pass. A pass is a pass, isn't it? Mm. Oh, yeah. Do you know what you said about Andy's car? Can you remember? Rims. Sick rims, mate. <laughs> I hope it's steamy in there, Em. What's been happening in here? Look at that, eh? Business. So, it was going to be, at one point, M10 cow van, wasn't it? It is going to be at one point. Oh, it is going to be. But just, insurance is absolutely ridiculous, isn't it? Six grand. Six grand for the van. But it only has two seats. This has got, has this got four or five? Four. Four. Central locking? Does van have central locking? I think just. Just, just. So M's got this until she can, um, until her insurance comes down, she can get an M10 cow then. What a beast. <laughs> cool dude air freshener. Love it. So, um, yeah. Me and Andy both congratulated you, but I'm sure everyone on here will now be in the comments going, Congratulations, Em! Freedom! Did you go out on it last night? Yeah, I did. Oh my god, I was shitting myself. Why? It was that, and my dad took me down the most steepest and narrowest roads. You know, like from like Mom's Rusty's Park, Rusty Cable. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah what yeah, are them hairpins? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I went to my granddad's and we went that way. Yeah? You enjoying your newfound freedom so far? Yeah. Me and Andy will be enjoying it, I tell you that, because we don't have to do Joe and Andy's field taxes now, do we? No. We've not been on road yet because we've not had like opportunity. We don't have to be a taxi driver anymore, Andy. And take us to the phone. Yeah. yeah. Hey oh. <laughs> we need to have a to celebrate this, don't we? I am not driving. Yeah. You are? <laughs> Is that a tantrum? <laughs> That's it, we've got it sorted now. Right, Weatherspoon's on the way. Congratulate him. Um, business. <laughs> He's looking round, he's like, Is that exhaust modified? Pissed. Okay? 
we didn't have mixer on, we'll fire, we'll fire it up tonight. Before M goes. <laughs> what are you going to do with your spare lights that you bought for your bike now? <laughs> right, I think we might vaccinate some cows or something. Yeah. She did uh, Charlotte Ashley's video last night and she was talking about supermarket wastage. So yeah. Andy, just tell me the story that you had. Yeah, I went to the supermarket, picked up a pasta, like a takeaway one, like a quick on the go one. Oh yeah. And um, open it up to eat it. There's nothing in there to eat it with. And it's like tuna pasta mayonnaise. So you used to have like a fork, didn't there? Like yeah, a foldable fork, fork or something. Or something. There's nothing in there. What are you supposed to do? Throw it, in, throw it in you bin. Eat it like yeah. a dog. I mean, just get in there. <laughs> well, how did you eat it, Andy? Because that was the best bit. Yeah, I just got my. I had a coffee from McDonald's, so I just got the lid. And just <laughs> scooped it out. So you don't like See, drink it, sort of that's a true farmer using the ingenu ingenuity. Is that right? I was like drunk it, eat it like you drink it. Yeah, it's quite messy though. Isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> So what we're doing now is we are getting the cattle in. These are the ones that have been out of grass. M's clipping the back. Andy's worming them. He's giving, that's the vaccine in his hand now. And we're giving him a fluke side as well. Um, all just to keep him healthy and to make sure that they um, are running efficiently without parasites and stuff like that in their bodies. Um, has he got a sick sound system? Has it got a sick sound system in your car? I've even got a radio. What? Yeah. It has no radio. Not yet, no. Why? It has one in, it just doesn't work. What, does it need a code or something? I don't know. No, radio, don't turn on at all. No. We've got a toilet in Oh well, you have to get a Sony. What do we use that Sony summit over, ain't it? It's got a Sony, isn't it? Or a Kenwood. Yeah, Sony, is it X? Yeah, X summit over. LCD display yeah, business. On the back oh yeah, yeah, and you sub it back in boot. Yeah. Boof, boof, boof. Pounding out your madness or whatever it is you listen to. Oh, isn't it a bit more like older stuff you like? Johnny Cash. It's a bit meatloaf, meatloaf, is it? Yeah, that's it. Anyway. Can't be bad with my cellos, can it? <laughs> yeah, Andy listens to classical cellos. Have you heard it's this? Rock, actually. It's rock. Oh, is it rock, rock cello? He listens to two cellos. Can't I put too much on us, so it'll get me. This is the flute that Andy's putting in now, so it's a bit like strawberry milkshake. Well, that's what it looks like. It kills him. Um, I don't think it does, no. Parasite that's uh, in the liver. Yeah, let's hold it down. <laughs> then what Em's doing is clipping the back. And then we we'll put the wormer on afterwards along their back to kill any intestinal parasites. So we just vaccinated all these guys. We're just going to put them back into their pen now, if they'll behave. They should do because they behaved when we fetched them uh, out of the field. Come on, pretties, that's it. That's it. We've got a few more to do then. Bit of feeding up. Probably ought to clean this yard up at some point as well. It's starting to look a bit of a mess, isn't it? There is concrete under here, believe it or not. Andy the dairy man is just checking this one now because he's seen a bit of a bag on it. Um, what are you thinking, Andy? Mm. He thinks it might be in calf, you see. We do not want some of this in calf. Mm, it's very milky. Uh, what is it? Not a slip cast. You think? Yeah, yeah. You feel that? It's quite, it's quite. Well, it's like quite wet, not sticky. Yeah. So, like, if it was sticky, we'd assume that it's not in calf. Is that right? If it was sticky, it's, um, it was in calf. Oh, it was in calf. It's, it's too milky. I'd say it's either been sucked or it's aborted or something. Mm. Do not want any cows that are in calf, any heifers that are in calf, any cows that are in calf, anything like that. Because one, we've not got facilities for calves. Um, we're not expertise, as in asking Andy about the milk thing. Not my expertise. What we're trying to do here is we're trying to put weight onto cattle. Now, if a cow's in calf, then it's putting weight into his calf. 
so it's just not like what our business runs like um, and if we had one in calf as lovely as it would be to have a little calf walking around um, it's not um, from a business point of view it's a totally wrong decision for what we do here got a big tank of molasses so uh, I don't know how many, how many tonne of molasses is usually in these M? 20 is it? something like that? No, not 48. Oh, right. No. No, no. No. You had 49 on that. What? 39. 39. You can only go to 44 ton. Come on, I thought you want to be a lorry driver. I forgot. <laughs> I brought his number down. Anyway, um, yeah, all that's going in there, in that green tank business. So he's got all the molasses in now, into the tank. Big Volvo FH. Let's hide it. I'm just getting that weighed out now. Based. And uh, we're going to start feeding around. Andy's going to start the mix. And I'm just going to feed these down here. He's just on tipping that mix off. Andy's had a bit of an early finish uh, today. He wants to get a few bits and bobs done. And yeah, we've got fair few bits to do now, still got feeding up to do. So we're just feeding these guys, we're all coming up to feed now. Fucking hungry. Got a bale of hay in um, the field. Andy always says it's too hard to do, doesn't he, um, With a nine metre. We've just done it, Andy. Easy as anything, probably easier than with a TM, to be honest. Um, if you go in the right way around. I'll teach you one day, Andy, if he's watching this. Yeah, we've put the lights on because my dad is going back with some cattle from Thirsk. So that's all the yard lit up so they can see what he's doing a little bit when he gets back in. I'll put it camera in this way, I'm getting, trying to get used to using the back one because it's better in the lighting. Yeah, it's going to be a bit weird, isn't it? So, yeah, M wants to make sure that, what do you need to make sure? Knows how to turn the lights on. Because you're, um, you're just, well, it's just when you when you pass your test, you don't like 100 percent know everything, do you? You knew how to drive an instructor's car, but you don't know how to drive your own. So we're just going to have a look at um, getting the headlights on, the massive engine, and the hearing the roar of it. Because it's got that sports exhaust, we reckon. Yeah, yeah I reckon so. I mean, the base. Stay tuned. It's called Fast Cars. What is it? A what? Sports whip. Sports whip. Yeah? I thought that'd be like what you do with your, you have for an horse or something. Yeah, you think it's a bit sporty. Yeah, you do have a sporty thing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There you go, you see. Mum's now got a boot where she can store her clothes. Fantastic. It looks a funny colour in dark, Em. It looks a bit of a funny colour in light, to be honest, but... It's like a pastel. Pastel grey? Pastel green, sorry. Green? Yeah. Oh, are you, are you doing like you're doing your instructor's car then? You take your boots off and right. I got in my you put car your fancy yesterday. ones on. I got in my car yesterday just to change like two tickets and that. Yeah. But my foot got stuck between pedals because I put my well on. <laughs> yeah, put your driving pumps on. <laughs> I need a box. You do, you need to talk to Mick. Mick has proper boxes from the back of his car, doesn't it? Uh, for your other extracurricular activities. So, wait, we're going to find where these headlights are and this uh, roaring exhaust. So we're going to tell Em if she's got her headlights on or not. Yeah, headlights are on. Is that full beam? Yeah, that's full beam. Only thing is, you need a um, you need a bulb for this side. That's all. Yep. Um, not at this. Yeah. Go on, other side. Yeah, indicators work. Oh, <laughs> see the air on now. Listen to this. Can you hear it? Well, let me just go around to exhaust. Oh, the smell of petrol. Look at that. 
Girl racer, I think. Um. Right. Right, that's off. That's what's that? Side that's lights. That's normal that's lights. That's and then your full beams on your your, your floppy stick. Yeah, yeah, we probably don't need to bother with that light. Indicators. Yeah, sometimes my indicator is bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. Your dad's a mechanic anyway, so we'll be able to sort that little uh, side light thing out for you, won't it? Well, you could probably sort it out yourself, to be honest. You get that sorted. We're sorting out. We're sorting. I can't figure that out this morning. Windscreen wipers here. Oh. What have you forgot now? That <laughs> oh, you're missing a thing as well, aren't you? You win. Yeah, you just need your blade for your wiper. Some cars though, they don't have them on back. No. Jobs are good in. Right, well, enjoy your little drive then. You know what you're doing? You've got that certificate anyway, aren't you? I think I'll Yeah, you'll learn you'll learn as you keep driving. We'll find out if I don't have it. If you're on bike in the morning. Right, to Lou then um. Oh thanks everyone. If you like M's new car, press that like button, subscribe if you're not already. And we will see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers, bye.